is Pete. I'm a line info on Focus Forums. Here with Charles's transmission, we're going to do a Torsen install and post up a video because I'm tired of people asking how do I do this. So here we go. First thing you need to do is take off the throw out bearing, slave cylinder. Cut. There we go. No trash in there. Alright, so this is how it comes off. You just kind of be gentle with it, wiggle it a little, and pull it off the input shaft. Careful of the seal on the back of it here. That's the shaft seal. Alright, so now that the slave cylinder is off, we need our T40 bit on a ratchet. We're going to go around the bell housing and get all of these little Torx bolts out of here. There's a couple inside and there's a couple outside. I think there's 19 in total. Kind of go in a cross pattern and switch around as you break them free. Oh, Once they're all say, broken uh, free, then you can take them all out all the way. Should yeah. I be like the monster dealer? All right, the next step One is taking off the bell the housing. Got all these bolts so, out. Yeah. So you need a rubber mallet. Do not use any type of metal hammer, even copper. So you just sort of go around the case. You know, there's a couple of places that are easy to hit. You'll hear the sound change. That means it's coming off. Just make sure you do it in an even kind of spacing like this. Take your time and be gentle with it. This down here was stuck really bad. So there's a couple flanges around the transmission like here and even over here where if it's stuck you can kind of get a screwdriver in here a little bit and sort of jiggle it up and down really gently like that. No hammers. Come around like this. Kind of jiggle it around. Eventually you'll see it start to split. And I just come and look over here and you'll see that it's actually flat right here. That means that you're angled too far that way. So what you gotta do is push down where I am and pull up where my hand is and get it to flatten out. And just keep going around looking at it making sure that the case is coming off nice and flat. Alright, well, we're basically ready to come off really easily now. It's got a nice, nice space over here, plenty of space over here. Just a couple of light taps. And eventually it'll come off. Alright, so you saw it split open a little. Make sure you check the other side. Last thing you want this thing to do is come off crooked. Okay, it should be ready to lightly jiggle and pull slowly and gently up. And keep it straight, don't want anything uneven. Keep the gap, gap needs to be even all the way around. I think I might have been covering the microphone. And there's the inside of your transmission. This is the cover. And there's the insides. And what we were saying earlier about going slowly, specifically, there's a lip here that you can use to break this. And your bearing falls out and stuff. It's not, it's not the end of the world, but it's not nice. So yes. Okay. All right, when you're working inside your transmission, you want to make sure your hands are clean. Some people go as far as wearing gloves. Uh, definitely want to do what you can to reduce the amount of dirt that's going to be in here. This comes out pretty easy. You just try to make sure that you're not, you're not pushing on the output shaft too much and pull straight up and out. Alright, changing the rain gear. This is a lesson in using 12 point versus 6 point sockets and wrenches and stuff. Obviously your 6 point is going to be much better. 
you have more surface area that you're grabbing on, you have less of a chance of marring the surface. But sometimes you have a crappy six point socket like this and you can't find any more in your shop, so you have to resort to using 12 point something or other. When you have to use a 12 point, the best way to do it is with very light impact. We've got our diff set up in a vise, nice and tight. So you push in, you make sure you push it in nice and good, especially with the 12 point, and you just light taps. Eventually, it'll start to come free. And since you're not using very much torque, you won't mar the surface of the bolt head all that much. Hang on. All right, you're gonna wanna make sure this is nice and clean. Well, everything is nice and clean, but the way that, a good way to clean this is like this, just kind of grab a hold of that, pull it through, pull it out. It's better if you're not using something so sharp. But. So there's a magnet in here. Yeah, let me see the magnet. It sits in there. Okay, get it. I'm gonna get it out. It sits in that, which is normally close to the bottom of the transmission, and uh, collects you know, pieces of your um, synchronizers and things. It's a good idea to clean it. Stick it back in. So, we make sure we clean these. They're dirty. Solvent. Let them sit. Wipe with this rag. Okay, so, there's the tours in here. Open diff here. Let's see. Um, have a clean ring gear. Next, we're going to take this, place it inside of here. You can see. Uh, let's see if I can get this in there. There we go. Take this. This should be a press fit, but on my car, it was a slip, and it would spin. And again, find the same situation here. You can see, not a press fit. So, the good, good thing is, I can't feel any slop here, so it should be okay. Use red Loctite on these bolts. Uh, there's a dude on the forum that did not, and he found a sheared off bolt in his transmission. So use it. Alright, your ring gear should be a light press fit. This one happens to be a little loose, but uh, normally, you would have to use a couple of bolts in a cross pattern, like this, and slowly bring them down with your ratchet about a quarter quarter turn at a time going in a cross pattern. Alright, we're finishing up the ring gear install on the new diff. I'm on the last two bolts here. One in the X pattern the entire way around. Um, just a dab of Red Loctite, spread it around. Did you say blue? Red. Red Loctite. Okay. Yes. Make sure you don't cross thread. That would really suck. You might hit a kink or two. That's okay. Ratchet wrenches are your friend. All right, so that's that one. Take your tape. Yeah. And do the other one. Well, I mean, you can get like a dry car with like a back. Uh, yeah, but it's like, it's a seven or eight. All right, that's that. You grab your torque wrench. It's got the six point, fifteen. Do not torque with the twelve point, please. Set to sixty-five foot pounds. Can't read it. Make sure the diff is actually in the vise. 